Well, things aren't looking very good for Netflix's Masters of the Universe Revolution. I don't think the show's going to do very good. And there's a reason that Kevin Smith is out here doing damage control now. It's because they've lost their audience. Their audience has left them. And the best example I can give you is just numbers from the trailer. So this show is about to drop. They released their official trailer. So this is the big one. Goes over the story. We've talked about this before. It's sitting at 443,000 views. And that's from 10 days ago. And you might say, well, that's a lot, actually. That's a lot of views. And you'd be right. I, I think that is a lot of views. However, when you go back and you look <laughs> at the original series trailer, Masters of the Re Universe Revelation official teaser, okay, two years ago, this pulled in 9.1 million views. That's how much excitement there was for this. Even the part two trailer over here in the corner, 1.1 million views. And these views aren't any better when you look at their official teaser. A couple hundred thousand, I think, is what they have. It's I, I'm pretty sure it's not at a million views. I can even check real quick. Yeah, here is the trailer, the official teaser. 512,000 views for the official trailer teaser. That's where they're at. There was one more, too. There was... Uh, I don't know where it is. It was uh, just some footage. They wanted to show He-Man fighting with his dad and I think uh, Masters of the Universe Hell, whatever that is, because he clearly dies at the beginning of the show if you watch the trailer. And then judging it by what comes later, it's probably his ghost dad or something. Uh, so a little bit of Force Ghost stuff in He-Man because Kevin Smith is a giant Star Wars fan. Cried during The Last Jedi. Never forget that. So, yeah, they've lost a lot of fans. A lot of fans have given this show the finger. It's already ratioed 16,000 downvotes to 13,000 upvotes. Uh, comments are filled with stuff like this. Uh, Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Still waiting for Kevin to apologize to Clownfish TV. Uh, these are new comments. Five minutes ago. 48 minutes ago. As a longtime fan, this show completely lost me. Screw this crap. Good job, Smith. Maybe not try to be bent over by your woke overlords and clean out your brain rot next time. So no one's buying this shit again. You should have got it right from the first time. And they're taking that criticism into account, at least according to the damage control they're putting out there. But why should I trust Kevin Smith? Kevin Smith lied for months leading up to the show's release on Netflix originally. Even when he got called out, when Clownfish TV had those leaks, and they were like, yeah, He-Man's not in the show, really. He's barely in it. And he came out and lied and said, well, that's not true. He-Man's in the whole thing. <laughs> and then it, it turned out that he lied. People dug up shit from him on a panel saying he doesn't even like He-Man. So why should anybody trust you, Kevin Smith? Why? Okay, now he's saying He-Man is in three and a half or four of the Masters of the Universe episodes for Revolution. So he's going to be in three and a half or four episodes. Why isn't he in all five? Why isn't he in all five? So you're telling me there's an entire episode without him. The original show was called He-Man. But he addresses the, ba the backlash and says, well, we're going to make sure he's in the whole thing and he's front and center. D doubt it. There's a reason he's out here putting this out. Because he lost the plot. Like I said, the interest in what this show was, when you look at this original trailer of 9.1 million views to this one, it's pretty damn clear how many people <laughs> have lost faith. I think this show is going to be a massive disaster. I think a lot of people just aren't going to tune in. That's why they're putting articles like this out. To try to win some of you back. When the first half of Masters of the Universe Revelation premiered in July 2021, some fans were not pleased. Some fans? 
<laughs> it looks like millions of fans. That's what it looks like to me. He-Man, it turned out, was barely in it. A sorceress Tila took over as the series' central character. Now in the run-up to the new outing, Revolution, the Netflix show's bosses have promised fans the character will feature much more in the fresh batch of episodes. Uh, this is a story that's going to explore what it means to be He-Man when a new responsibility falls on Adam. That's at least according to the executive producer. He says, I think it's really interesting to explore what it's like when, as an adult, you know what you want to do, and your parents also have, have expectations for you. How do you reconcile with that? So that's reference to the trailer saying he can't be king and he-man. He has to pick. Uh, king or champion. We do it with an eye towards making sure fans know that He-Man is in, is in three and a half or four out of five of the episodes, he adds. Teasingly, he is He-Man in the show. Uh, speaking of that, I watched a clownfish video because they've been covering this as well. And they apparently had some leaks. They can't confirm if they're true. Uh, but at the end of this series, the leaker says that... Adam is going to pretty much say royalty is stupid and democracy should prevail. So he's going to stay champion and hook up with Tila and give the people back the power and let them vote. So there's not going to be a king. So that wouldn't surprise me. So he's going to stay He-Man and hook up with Tila, which, you know... It's heavily implied that she's a lesbian in the other series with uh, Andrea. So I'm wondering what's going to happen there. Elsewhere, Tila sets off on a mission to learn more about snake magic in order to rebuild a magic realm and help He-Man hold off the greatest threat Eternia has ever faced, Horde Emperor leader Hordak. This kind of confirms another rumor well, this, it's from the same person, but in Clownfish's video, they said that Tila was going to rebuild Praternia, which is, I think, the heaven where all the He-Man characters go. So that's, it's, it looks to me like the rumors that they put in that video are true. Now, what I do find funny is this bit right here. So you've got some of the people that made the show acknowledge that they went and adjusted the story because of the backlash. So that makes me wonder what this show was originally going to be <laughs> when they had this all road mapped out. Cause I'm sure when they were coming up with the story for revelation that probably included revolution and they had a nice roadmap for where they wanted to go. And I bet you he man was going to take a back seat in this too. But because so many fans ditched their asses, they had to adjust the ongoing story accordingly. Though they have no regrets about making He-Man take a back seat. Yeah, so they lost a ton of viewership, and they had to go in and change it. So they at least admit they were wrong and that they fucked this up, and they're trying to fix it. But they still, no apology to Clownfish. Not one. No acknowledgement that they kind of screwed over the fans. So I would just take the clownfish apology at this point. I don't really care about this show. I'm not going to watch it. And I would encourage everyone to not watch it because you're going to get bait and switched again. This is for sure going to be a bait and switch show just like the last one. It'll just have more He-Man in it. There'll be a couple more He-Man fights and some people will seal clap. Uh, but the fact of the matter is just based on those trailer numbers, you can tell that a lot of people dipped the hell out. And I think a lot of people aren't going to come back and watch this. I think it'll be at the top of the Netflix chart for one day, maybe two or three, and then it just fades off into obscurity. That's my prediction. And, you know, serves you right. That's what you get for going after your fans, lying to them, and... Then embracing the media that called them all sexist for wanting a show that was called He-Man to have He-Man in it front and center. Shame on you, Kevin Smith, for what you do. You were supposed to be like king of the nerds or something, and you turned out to be nothing but a sellout. 
sellout, man. Guy went from like being, you know, I'm pulling myself up, doing it myself. I'll do it without Hollywood to being the biggest Hollywood uh, simp there is. Desperate to get in there and get in good graces so he can get some jobs. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.